it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I am back with a tribute to BH Cosmetics. And yes, thank you, Angie, for telling us all that <clears throat> BH Cosmetics got bought by uh, Revolution and that they are coming out with uh, new palettes and new travel palettes. And yay, and I don't have to hide mine in the corner of my beauty room. Um, because uh, they're never going to be produced again, but I can't bear to part with them. So everything is much better in my world. And again, thank you very much, Angie, for telling us all, because that was something important, at least important to a lot of us who really like um, that particular beauty company. So um, I do have uh, BH on my face today and I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I have on. I have the Belgian waffle here and this one I actually went ahead and used this shade here for a bronzer and again um, really pretty palette. These are all shimmers on the bottom and then so it's more of a face palette sort of a contour and highlight palette and I love this palette. It always makes me think of um, yeah, brunch. It's part of the brunch collection, so it's always been a favorite. Solar Flare. I actually didn't use anything from Solar uh, Flare today, but this is their baked eye shadow formula. If you can find this palette over at Ulta or on the BH Cosmetics site, I would say go ahead and get it. Um, it's a very pretty... They all... Um, this is going to be your red or orange row, and then you have, um, let's see, a pink row, and then this row is more of an antique -y kind of row, and they're all beautiful shades um, and pretty neutral kind of shades compared to what I have on today, and I'll be going through that in a second. Uh, Glowing in Grease, one of my favorite palettes ever from them. And so I have a uh, Meek Nose on today, and there we go. So um, I have, again, I have a uh, Meek Nose on there, and then I have the um, Athens on as far as uh, the highlighter. So again, all at the bottom is going to be shimmer, and all at the top, in this case, it's going to be blushes. So, um, yeah, so there we go again. <laughs> Yeah, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, but again, a great palette. Um, and again, it it could be over at Alta. It might be on their website. Um, but this is one of their older ones, so I don't know if that's readily available anymore. Uh, the other one that I got that I used on the other side is Blushing and Valley. And this really pretty palette as well. Again, blushes on the top. And I went ahead and used Lychee and uh, Pomegranate. And then I used uh, this one for my highlighter. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more of this shade. So there's that. So a little bit more of that. And again, that's really pretty pinky color. And a really pretty palette, uh, Blushing and Valley. And the one of my all-time favorite palettes, and I still don't know how to pronounce this. Now, I say Galaxy Chic, but it could be Gal Galaxy Chic. So there's a palette. Uh, this is a newer version. I actually bought this as a backup. And I still have my older version with the packaging on that as well. So uh, this is what I have on my eyes today. Um, over on the orangey red side, I went ahead and started with this one. Um, added some of this one. Then I went here, here, um, down here to the brown, and then over here to the wine color. And so that's what I have on why am I having trouble with that angle today? Like that. Just to, yeah. Like that, just to go ahead and show you. And then on the other side, I started with uh, Milky Way. And then I came over to here. 
went over to this shade, over to this shade, over to this shade, and over to this shade, and then over here. So I put on, yeah, as many of the colors as I could. And again, um, yeah, that's how it looked or how it came out. Again, one of my favorite palettes ever. It is definitely their baked formula. I haven't seen them do the baked formula in a long time, but um, if you can go ahead and get your hands on these, definitely do. They're definitely worth it. Uh, next palette I have is a favorite, again, from the Brunch collection. This is Bellini, and this is going to be all different shades of peach blush. So, really pretty palette. And then uh, the last one that I have, um, well, actually, it's not the last one, but uh, the Summer in St. Tropez. And this gorgeous palette, again, um, if from the, um, yeah, from the vacation or the traveling group. And if you can pick it up, definitely go ahead and pick it up. As far as what I used on my face, I used the NYX on the Rise um, Mascara Primer. Excuse me, I still have a cold. And the She Glam as far as uh, the eyeshadow. Or, pardon me, mascara and mascara primer. There we go. And this is shade number 30? 90. <laughs> yeah, it's what I have on my lips. And this one is the Super Stay Crayon by Maybelline. And then I put some of the Juvia's uh, Disco Gloss on top of it. So this is from Juvia's Place. Use some of the glowish powder, powder to go ahead and use as a finishing powder. Have that in fair light. Went ahead, and this is my new product, the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I know it's been around for a while, um, but this is the first time that I've actually used it. And the Glow by Milani. So, um, yeah, those are the two that I went ahead and used there. And then to go ahead and set it all, because, yeah, I was thinking that it was going to be moving all over everywhere. Uh, the Airbrush Flawless uh, Setting Spray, and this is by Sherwa Tilbury. And I do have another palette. And um, this is the Naughty and Nice palette that came out two years ago for Christmas and is a gorgeous palette. I mean, if you if you run across this palette, it is a wonderful makeup palette and is amazing. Um, not sure that I would have done it as a Christmas. I mean, I can see why they did it as a Christmas palette, but it is gorgeous. And, let's see. Of course, the Zodiac palettes that they made such a hit with. And so, um, yeah, this is Zodiac Love Signs. And so it's just absolutely gorgeous. And they did put their bait formula into this one. So the pans here are going to be uh, regular press shadows. And then these are the baked formulas. And again, another gorgeous palette. And I'm so glad that they're coming back in a different way. That's fine. <laughs> um, you know, fingers crossed that the formulas will be as, as amazing. And just the creativity that went into the palette and the design. And yeah, I'm so glad that they're back. So um, again, keeping my fingers crossed and I can't wait to see what they have. So I'll see you later and have a great day. Bye.